So yesterday I watched a short documentary and it was basically on magicians and the secrets behind their tricks. The thing that stood out to me was that one of the older magicians said that his influence came from the Bible. Now, in particular, the things Paul did in the book of Acts. Now, the problem I had with what he said was that Paul was the first magician that gave him inspiration. The truth is, Paul wasn't a magician. What he did was real. Now, some synonyms for the word magic are sorcery, witchcraft, and wizardry. To put it simply, magic is practice illusions, the practice of illusions. I think the greatest example of what magic is would be the first account of any man in the New Testament practicing it, and that would be Simon in Acts chapter 8. The Bible makes it clear that he practiced sorcery. Sorcery, by definition, is black magic, which means its power is derived from demons. There's another documentary on magicians on YouTube where some of these magicians actually admitted to praying to Satan before the performance for power. I'm not saying these demonic magicians don't have power. What I'm saying is the source from which their power comes from is different than Paul's. Paul was empowered by the Holy Spirit. These magicians of black magic are empowered by darkness, demons, and Satan. But this is interesting. Even the demons know that these men are fake. And I want to go ahead and read a funny account of this happening in the book of Acts. I'm going to read from, I'm going to read from Acts chapter 19, verses 11 through 19. Now, God worked unusual miracles by the hand of Paul so that even handkerchiefs or aprons were brought from his body to the sick. Now, this wasn't magic. It wasn't sleight of hand or an illusion. What Paul did was real. And the diseases left them and the evil spirits went out of them. Then some of the itinerant Jewish exorcists took it upon themselves to call the name of the Lord Jesus over those who had evil spirits, saying, We exercise, we exercise you by Jesus whom Paul preaches. Now, I mean, these men were basically, if you think about it, they were basically Catholic priests, like the Catholic priests of, of history, right? The whole exorcism, tying the person down to the bed and waving a cross and sprinkling holy water, that's pretty much what they were. Um, you know, the way the movies portray them is pretty much what and how they did it. Now, verse 15 reads, and the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus, I know, and Paul, I know, but who are you? Now, in my opinion, this has got to be one of the biggest exposals of all time. You pretty much get called out by a demon for being fake. OK, this needs to happen to people like Todd White, Benny Hinn and all those people who walk around saying that they've got this this, you know, power in the name of Jesus to, you know, lengthen someone's leg by two inches or to make someone's back straighten up. They need to be jumped on by demons. That's what needs to happen. OK, um, so verse 16, then the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them, okay, overpowered them and prevailed against them so that they fled out of the house naked and wounded. Okay, this is pretty much what would have happened at the end of the movie Exorcist. You know, at the end of the movie Exorcist where, the, you know, the priest had victory over the spirit, that wouldn't have happened in real life, okay? What would have happened was what happened to these, these itinerant Jewish uh, men who had to run out of the house in fear for their lives being attacked by these demons. That's what it would have really happened because they don't have the power. Okay. They don't worship the same God as Paul. Therefore, they're not empowered by the Holy Spirit because they don't have it. Now, one interesting thing is that John Piper actually recounts a situation in which he actually was called to an exorcism in which they had victory over the demon. Uh, Again, John Piper is empowered by the Holy Spirit, and through prayer, they actually rebuke that demon from the woman. And so I just wanted to kind of just break that down uh, in regards to the movie Exorcism. And, and any false teacher who does, you know, miracles and works in the name of Jesus Christ, unless you're of Christ, you cannot perform the things Paul did. So thank you guys for listening, and let me know in the comments what you think.